This did not feel like they took our complaint seriously. Montrealer Taylor Zamor is raising questions about the credibility of the Quebec Human Rights and Youth Rights Commission's investigation into his 2020 complaint of racial profiling after Montreal police violently raided his apartment, searching for suspects in a stabbing. He says it's unfair that the commission dismissed the case while the Quebec Police Ethics Commissioner upheld it. We're asking for more fairness. We're asking for those investigation to not feel like it's a one-way investigation. On February 2nd, 2020, during a Super Bowl party with friends, police officers raided Zamor's apartment in Cote Neige. Another officer came in, got on top of me with his gun pointed on the back of my head. Police were looking for two suspects in a nearby stabbing and were told they were in Zamor's apartment. But after searching, they found nothing. Zamor was left with a back injury and post-traumatic stress. The people that you assume would be there to protect you are the people that could have actually killed you. The Human Rights Commission has never either reached out to us, me or Taylor personally for asking what was the sequence of events. In July, the Human Rights Commission dismissed the complaint due to insufficient evidence of race discrimination. While well, the Police Ethics Commissioner cites all six police officers involved uh, for, among other things, race discrimination in their intervention. The Quebec Human Rights Commission tells City News they cannot comment on a specific case due to confidentiality reasons. In a statement, they say the issue of racial profiling is a major concern for the Commission. It is also important for us to recall the rigor and importance partiality with which the Commission's investigations are carried out in compliance with the rules of procedural fairness and taking into account all the relevant facts. Generally speaking, the Commission can close a file after the investigation if it turns out that the evidence is insufficient to support the complaint and give rise to an appeal before the Human Rights Tribunal. It is indeed possible that the conclusions of our investigations differ from those of the Police Ethics Commissioner because our mandates and the laws that govern them are different and aim for distinct objectives. No, it's nearly impossible for the Commission to go back on their decision. But we're asking for a change in the process. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.